This is a tutorial on how to operate the Bravo 140 tree targeting system um, on the uh, GB and G3 Aerofan air blast sprayers. The first thing to note on this system is your instant on off spray is achieved by a diaphragm check valve system on the fan housing manifolds. These manifolds can be turned off here simply by closing or opening. And they function as an on-off valve as well as a diaphragm check valve. If you're spraying young trees, it's best to turn them off at the manifold versus at the air vein so you don't have any chemical buildup in the lines or in the air vein when spraying. Also, good idea to shut these valves off, adjust the air veins to target into the canopy of the tree where you're able to harness all that air into what you're spraying. The next thing to note is a wheel sensor. A wheel sensor is designed to be able to operate in hilly terrain. So if you're coming off of a hill um, or coming up to a hill and your tractor slows or speeds, the calibration on the wheel sensor will allow that calibrated ground speed to adjust where you're constantly targeting what you're trying to spray. If you're on flat ground, we recommend running just the manual calibration. It's a little more adjustment friendly and you can adjust on the fly. The valving is set in such a way that you can still run your standard control systems, whether it's cable, hydraulic, or electric. And we run that through a three-way valve, which is filtered all the time. If you want to run the Bravo, you have to open this valve off of the main supply off the pump and you have to divert these valves to take fluid from the Bravo valve up through the, the three-way valve and then through your filter to the back. If you want a standard spray, you need to Shut the main supply to the Bravo off and turn both of your three-way valves back to where they started. Regulator control is here. Your sonic sensors, which pick up the tree canopy, are situated in the front panel. And all of your main wiring is supplied into a electric box just to clean up the wiring. There's no electronics in this box. Going over to the monitor. In order to set up the monitor, it's fairly simple. Turn the power on, hold the two arrows down at the same time until it says advanced menu. First setting is English. You can go from English to Spanish to Portuguese to Italian and back to English. OK to approve. Power alarm settings, so if you want a visual or sound alarm, you can turn this on or off. Uh, we do recommend having that sound alarm. Um, it's going to alert you of any problems that could be happening, whether it's wheel sensor or um, sonic sensors, things like that. Power supply, um, if the power supply is dropping down below 14 volts, your, um, your alarm will come off. Um, the distance sensor is this, the distance between the center of the sensing eye and the first nozzle. So right now it's calibrated for eight foot. And in order to do this, what we'll do is we'll come over to the sprayer. In this case, these cans are three and three eighths of an inch. So I'll hook it on this edge and then we'll add back in a little, about inch and three quarter. So we're at nine foot, so it would be nine foot two is where you want to set the sensors for calibrating. Now you can adjust that a little bit to be able to advance um, and uh, retard the spray as it's hitting the tree, whether you want to come on early, turn off late. So 
So getting back to the distance sensor, you hit OK, up arrow to 9.2, hit OK, that's, that's now set. Speed sensor is disabled. On flat ground, like we said, it's best to run it disabled and then just simply put in your applied ground speed. Uh, units of measure for our case is US, you can also go metric, which is Euro. Back to English, so that means we're done calibrating. Hit escape, spraying menu. So in the spraying menu, you have an S in the upper left hand corner. That is your sensibility function. If you notice this here, this allows you to be able to adjust from a defoliated tree to a full canopy tree. In that case, right now it's set to zero inches. We prefer to have this around 24 inches at any given time. When you get that set, you can adjust this down or up depending on what stage the tree's in. In our experience, an all around number that's a good place to be is 24 inches. The next step is setting your ground speed, miles per hour. So in this case, you hold down OK. I'm sorry, you push OK. <laughs> and then you adjust your ground speed accordingly. And because of a delay in manifolds and valves, what we found is that you're typically three to four points ahead of your actual ground speed. So if your calibrated ground speed is two, I would set the monitor at 2.4 and go from there. There's also a tree counter. And that tree counter allows you to be able to count the half swath of the tree on each side as you travel through the orchard. You can simply reset this by holding down the two arrows until it clears. You also have the functionality of automatic or manual. And in that case, this is manual. You can hear the valves actuate. That means that you have just an electric valve that's functioning as an on-off valve. In automatic mode, when you walk in front of the sensor, the sensor is going to detect and open and close those valves accordingly. It's an electric over hydraulic, I'm sorry, it's, a, it's an electric solenoid valve. The valve is very fast on response time. Right. Also, in auto, you have to turn the zones on in order to get them to sense. So if we come over, and make the lead come over here. I'm going to stick my hand in front of the sensor to test them. And you can see that a tree pops up on the monitor. Whenever my hand goes in front of it. That's the basic tutorial on this system. In order to make any fine tune adjustments, uh, you would need to adjust ground speed and or the advanced menu uh, distance calibration between the sensor and the nozzle.